And we just finished finished reading this great book called Little, Little Damon Learns to Earn. Yes. This book is mostly about how to start your own business when you're with, a kid. And like the steps to make money if you want to achieve a goal. So we're trying to achieve a goal today. Yes. And we, well, just as long as it takes. We yes. are trying to get a thousand dollars so we can go on a trip to Dubai. And a big part of this book is that like kids want, if they want to raise money, they could do it by starting a little business when they're a kid. What is the goal? You want to go where? To Dubai. 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 So you want to get to Dubai, and but you have a goal, and Dubai is going to be expensive, well, like they, travel. They're paying for the hotel. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. So how much? do you need to make? We need, and we need to make $1,000. Okay. So we're going to need to, so maybe we could like, so we need to think about what we like and stuff. So I like, me, me and my sister like art. Well, at least you came up with, first of all, what you like. So the idea of when you open a business is whenever you open a business or you even are successful at something, what you usually are doing is solving a problem that somebody else has oh, or sorry. you're bringing them joy right so if somebody had a long day at work and they want to treat themselves to some dessert but you love to bake well some nice chocolate cake that they like oh, yeah. you solved the problem because did they didn't have to bake it themselves and they found it delicious so like if somebody wants decor well like decoration? pictures or decorations mm -hmm. in their house or home or anywhere, they could, instead of making it themselves, they could buy it from a store. They could, and maybe, and make them happy. right, now, what do you like? What part of art do you like? Is it painting? Painting. Okay, painting? Yeah, I like painting. I like, maybe, I like drawing and sketching stuff. Sketching, okay. So painting and sketching. So now we have two things to think about. We have either we can do sketches outlined by paint, or we can do two offerings. If you like it sketched, or you like it painted. The next thing is, well, who is going to buy it and why would they buy it? What are you doing for them? Who is saying right now, hmm, I need something. I Maybe want something. people who like move into a house or something. A like house? people who move into a new house and mm -hmm. like they don't want it to just look plain. They want it to have lots of decorations. Okay. They want it to look fun. Maybe they would not find anything unique enough or anything that they like, but maybe they stop by somewhere and they see something that's really good. You go out now and say, hey, would you like me to make something special for you? Well, remember, when you start a business, it's not about selling one. One, the thing you first sell is to satisfy somebody and solve their problem, but you hope that they like it so much that if they don't buy another one, they go tell somebody else. Oh, and then I'll keep spreading and spreading. So the biggest thing we have to do now, though, is I don't know how your painting looks, so a lot of times what you need to do is you need to invest your own time, meaning you may have to draw one, four, five, ten. You may want to show people and say, here's how it looks because then you want people to say i like it i don't like it and then you research what are these paintings going for normally online do you see them for two dollars ten dollars twenty or like so then you can make the right price because if you make something that's worth someone somewhere else um thirty dollars but it's only worth like five dollars nobody's gonna buy it because they can get it for cheaper that's right and that's and like, like the way you're thinking or something. you have to get all the other pieces to it so you may have to get a frame you have to get the charcoal or the acrylic or the sketches and you have to or say painting, painting. how much did it cost me to lay out so if it costs you five dollars to buy the material and well how much do you sell it for you maybe like, like ten dollars maybe and so it may take you five dollars to buy it but it may take you three weeks to make it oh, yeah. you can't sell that for ten dollars you have to sell that for much more because you put so much time and effort and maybe you want to show them maybe you want to take your phone and say look 
here's Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Thursday, and show them all the care that you put into it. And after that, then you know what you ask that person? Hi, would you like to recommend it to anybody else? Would you like another one? Because once you have a customer, you want them to be, now you can go and pay for advertising, or you can have somebody who already said, I love your stuff. And then they would tell people. And, and tell people. people. Tell and people. if you tell more people, you know what? I'll do the next one for less because you believe in me and I want to believe in you. And once you start to understand those numbers on how much your paintings cost, well, then you can say, can I make four a week, four a month? And then you can start projecting with your parents when you believe you'll be ready. You'll be ready. What I like about the book is how this helps you start a business. So it can be a kid or even probably a grown up or teen can read it and they can know how to start their own business. So it'll be a start for them and they can succeed. Yeah. My favorite part of the book was when he um, was when he was making the pope he, when he was making the little shirts, he wanted um, to get his friends to do it and when they helped out and one of the girls played music and then somebody did art and made the sign and then the other people did a lot of other things and they got it done. And they got the money and then he got the money to um, get the poster. What I like about it as well, when you think about it, is that they all shared in making the money together because when you open a business everybody is making money now we know how the business works but we still don't know how to get to dubai well this is the important part because a lot of people want to start a business and even though you start a business it doesn't mean you know how the money works in a business it's almost like buying a brand new car mm -hmm. with a full gas tank but you never fill the gas tank at all after that. So what happens when you run out of gas? You're not just stuck. The you car doesn't go anywhere. anywhere. So when people run a business, they also need to know how to operate the money in the business. And a business... Like fixing the car and the gas. Exactly. And so you still have enough gas to keep running the business. And that's what I'm going to show you because I know that you're going to figure out the business but the money part is something that is very, very easy to figure out. Numbers never change. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Okay, so right now we have another special guest, which is Minka. Minka! Minka is Damon's daughter. She, um, she's seven, and she's going she's, to help us. With, she's going to be doing this with us. Right. So Minka and I are both practicing how money works and we want to show you and we want you to keep showing other people how money works. Now this is what you do no matter what, whether you have a business or anything else. So Minka uh, this year made $300, meaning family, friends, tooth fairy, saved as much as she could and I know Minka and we're talking about what everybody should learn about what to do with three dollars. So with you have three dollars, three hundred dollars, three thousand dollars. This is the way when people make money, how it should be spent. So anybody gets basically three dollars. Here's what's supposed to happen. Number one, the first dollar or hundred goes to pay for what you must pay for. Well, what do we must pay for? You must pay for rent. You rent. must pay for food and water. Food, water, medicine. Medicine. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To eat, right? Right. You said you said food, right? Insurance. House. Insurance, yes. Taxes. What? Taxes. Taxes. Oh, duh. That's a a good lot one. of people don't think about it and make it knows about taxes. The second dollar is supposed to always go for an investment. Now, an investment is something that ends up making your money work for you. Now, this is really the fun part because if you do it right, the third goes for, Minka, what does the third go for? What you would like to have, but? You don't need something. 
you don't need to have. And guess what? The best part about this is if you do not spend all of that, you can put it right back here and make this work twice. Okay, so now here's what we did with Minka's $300. Number one, Minka showed that she is a partner with mommy and daddy. And she said, mommy, daddy, here is my contribution to the house. She said, we live near the beach. I have a lot of friends that don't live near the beach and it's cold. I have family members. Daddy, you and I love to go and find shells, right? Yeah. Minka, do you buy, find all these shells? So what Minka decided to do is, she decided to go and take this money and go to Michael's and she bought all of these supplies with her $100. $100. We go online and we look that that $100, if you bought this online for somebody who didn't even custom make it, and you bought all of this, this would come out to almost $300 if we sold it the proper way. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but remember little Damon, he thought he could sell too. At first, what happened? So he bought a lot of them not knowing if people were going to buy them. Right. And here's what happened with the third. This was the like to have but don't have to have. But you know what she bought with this? Well, well she wanted to buy a pet. Right? What did you want at first? A hamster. A hamster. But a hamster was too much, right? Because the hamster, we needed the cage and everything else. But you know what she ended up buying? Pet. What did you buy, Minka? Pull that up. Whoa. Oh, look at that. She bought herself a fish. Money buys you freedom. Minka, before this fish, she would have to maybe wait for Christmas, maybe her birthday. Is the fish gonna be blue? Is the fish a surprise? Am I ever gonna get the fish? Because she had this money, she was able to pick her own fish because her mother and father approved of it. That is what we call freedom. So whether your freedom is going to Dubai, giving to a charity, hanging out with friends, buying a beautiful dress, or buying a fish, that is freedom. Minka opened her business, but she loves her mommy and her daddy and her pop-pop and her friends so much that out of all this, she wanted to give away because she wants to give away so much joy. Look at all these bottles here, right? You would have to sell all this, right? She went and got all the shells. This was fun, right? Because this was the, oh my God, look at this shell. Look at this hand pick. She wanted to give away all of this because she wants to bring people joy. But if she did that, you know what happens? This is all she has to sell. The business goes bankrupt. So now what we had to do and Minka had to think about it, she said, oh, wait a minute. I have to be able to give away only this amount. I sell this and then I get double and triple and then I can give away more because the business, you have to keep putting gas in the car. You understand? Yes. And that is a very simple way that it works because this now keeps growing, keeps growing keeps growing and this starts to pay for this and this starts to pay for that. And that is the way that $3 works. So it doesn't matter how much money you make, it matters how you spend it. So what I'm going to do is gonna give you some lucky charms to take with you to Dubai. Oh, thank you. There you go. So the first dollar goes to what? The first goes dollar goes to like things you need. need. The needs. Like taxes or you ha need or rent, you to pay rent in a house, house food, or water. water. Second goes Invest to what? Invent. Investment. Investment. All right. And then make a. That's when, like, you, if you don't want to start your own company, right? You could invest in something. Mm -hmm. Like, you could put money into it. And you it know what you call when you do that? Good. You're called a shark when you do that. Right? And the third one, everybody, the third one is for things that you would like to it's have, bad, but, but don't need it. Hey, Dubai, baby. <laughs> Dubai, baby. Dubai, baby. 
So what we learned today is how to start your business and how it's not very easy, but if you work hard in it and do the right things and spend the money on the right things, then you can succeed at, succeed at it and succeed your goal. Well, thank you for having us and we are having an excellent time learning about uh, little Damon, how he learns to earn and how everybody can use the money that we get to do the right things to have all the things we want. Mm -hmm.